Hi everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make these delicious cinnamon rolls. I originally got the recipe from Tasty, but I made a few adjustments to it, so I'll be teaching you how I made it. I'll also have a link to their recipe in the description below. Alright, let's get started with the video. Alright, so in a large bowl, add one cup of warm milk. Then add one fourths cup of sugar. Mix until well combined. Then add one fourths cup of melted butter. Mix again until well combined. Then sprinkle one and one eighth teaspoon of yeast over the mixture. Let the yeast rest for one minute. Then add two cups of flour. Then whip out your wooden grandma spoon and mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. When it's well combined, it should look like this. Cover the bowl with a towel or plastic wrap and then set it in a warm place to rise for an hour. I usually place it in my oven uh, when it's off, obviously. <laughs> Alright, while that's rising, I'm going to make myself a snack. Mug! Cocoa powder! Milk! Warm said milk for one to two minutes! Add milk to cocoa. Stir like you're trying to create a tornado in the sea. <laughs> What's that you mean? More vigor. Now add the piece de resistance with cream and lots of it. Grab some cookies we made in a previous video and then enjoy your snack while watching an episode of Supernatural! Alright, we've had our snack, we've cleaned the kitchen, it's been an hour, let's take out our dough. I love it when the dough rises. It's just, it's just so cool. Now add six tablespoons of flour. Add one teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Whip out your grandma spoon again and try to mix in the dry ingredients into the dough. When it becomes too difficult, Take the dough out of the bowl and then start to knead and incorporate the rest of the dry ingredients into the dough. I'm not adding more flour to the surface because there's leftover flour um, from the bowl. So I'm just using that and kneading all the flour and the salt and the baking powder, everything we poured into the bowl, into the dough. When I run out of flour uh, that was previously in the bowl, I'll add more flour um, to my hands and to the surface, and then I'll knead the dough for about 10 minutes. This is where I get all my arm strength from. Yeah, I don't just have nerdy noodle arms. <laughs> when I'm done kneading, I'll sprinkle more flour onto the surface, and I'll sprinkle flour onto my rolling pin. Alright, so now we're ready to roll out our dough. So this is going to take a while, so why don't we do a quick time skip. Oh wow, isn't the magic of editing so cool? We're already done rolling out the dough! Alright, so gently tug on the sides because you want to make it look like a square, just because it makes it easier. Make sure your dough is a half an inch thick. Alright, add 6 tablespoons of softened butter to your dough. But since I always forget to soften the butter before I make the cinnamon rolls, here's me spreading on half softened, half melted butter that was melted slash softened in the microwave. 
Spread your softened butter evenly over the dough. I would like to say just add about six tablespoons of brown sugar onto your dough, but I never add <laughs> just six tablespoons. I always add more until it's evenly covered. So add six tablespoons of brown sugar, but you can also add more if it doesn't cover the dough completely. All right, so it's easier just to spread the brown sugar with your hands, so I just recommend doing that. You can use a spoon, I'm just saying it's easier to use your hands. You can also do the method where you put the uh, softened butter in, the brown sugar, and the cinnamon, and you just mix it all together and then just like uh, spread it across the dough. But I mean, <laughs> I like doing it this way. Uh, it works just as well. But you know, it, to each their own, it's up to you. Evenly sprinkle a tablespoon of cinnamon over the dough. Okay, so I like pecans. Pecans? Pecans? I, um, I, I, I like pecans, so I'll add pecans. Pecans? Nuts? I'll add the nuts <laughs> to um, the cinnamon rolls just because I like them. You don't have to put them, obviously, but I like them. I don't really have a measurement on how much to put. Um, in your cinnamon rolls, just put as much as you want, a generous amount, you know, and spread them evenly. Then I like to press the nuts down uh, just so they won't move when I start rolling the dough. Alright, and now it's time to roll the dough. Roll the dough into a log shape. Alright, so I usually cut off the leftover end bits because they're not even and I don't like them. You can turn them into uh, waffles though, I've done that once, the leftover endy bits. So we're going to use dental floss to evenly cut the cinnamon rolls. You can't use a knife, I'm just saying like dental floss works. This is a tip I got from Tasty. When I cut it, I realized that I didn't measure the dough, so now this piece is going to be smaller than the other ones, but that's fine. Make sure each piece is an inch and a half thick. Use the knife to make a small cut so you know where to cut the dough. You're going to use the dough to go under the dough, over, and then pull. That should cut the dough into a nice even piece. Now do this like 11 more times. Alright, you done? You finished? You got your pieces? Cool, let's move on! Get a nonstick baking pan out and take some softened butter and spread it evenly throughout the pan. Ooh, guys, check this out. It's my new favorite thing. It's a spatula slash basting brush. I love it. It's silicone and my new favorite thing. Even mom uses it. Now place your cinnamon rolls into the pan. Make sure the cinnamon rolls are spaced out and do not overcrowd the pan. The batch I'm making only makes 12. When you're finished, cover the dough in plastic wrap and put it in a warm place to rise for 30 minutes. Now that the dough has risen, we are going to cook it in the oven. So you're going to want to cook these in the oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. While the cinnamon rolls are cooking, we're going to make our cream cheese frosting. Add 2 ounces of softened cream cheese into a bowl. Then add 1 tablespoon of melted butter. Then a tablespoon of milk. Then add a half a cup of powdered sugar. Then mix well with an electric mixer. You can use a whisk, but it's easier just to use an electric mixer, trust me. Oh, and I almost forgot, add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, now mix until well combined. When you're finished, set that to the side until your cinnamon rolls are ready. All right, the cinnamon rolls are done, and don't they look just so pretty? 
We're gonna spread on the frosting we made before onto the cinnamon rolls while they're piping hot. If we spread on the frosting right when it comes out of the oven, it, the frosting melts onto the cinnamon rolls and it just makes it so good. See how the frosting just oozes down. God, it's so good. <laughs> all right, that's it. You're all finished. And let me tell you, these cinnamon rolls are so, so good. My parents absolutely love the cinnamon roll recipe. So much so that when I try something new, they just say to stick with the original, so I always stick with this one. All right, they're not wrong because the bottom is crunchy while the top is fluffy and it just tastes like freaking love, so I recommend this recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything I used in the video will be in the description below. Bye!